And now it's time to give this guy a mouth. Starting again, adding a new layer. And now you need to decide what kind of mouth you want. For example, for my Rocky here, I had kind of a smirk. And on me, I had a large open mouthed look. So I'll show you both of those. For the smile, I just got a really big brush and I grabbed a red mouth color. And make sure you have the brush tool. And for this one, if you're using a graphic tablet, go ahead and just use your mouse so that it gives you a solid color. And in fact, before you begin, might make sure your opacity and your flow are completely high. And click. Now you're going to use that eraser tool and erase off a little more than half of it. And then for the lower part of the mouth, you're going to use your wand tool to select the mouth and grab kind of a pinky color and then your brush tool and maybe make it slightly smaller click in a little tongue there and there's your very large mouth if you wanted to you can even grab that wand tool select the mouth grab your gradient tool and add some shade to the sides and if you wanted to have the smirk look there that's really just the brush tool. And I grabbed that dark brown color again, that same one that I did for the nose. And grab a new layer, grab the brush tool. <laughs> Pretty small brush. And just kind of play with that brush tool until you get the right expression. This stroke is really good for the pen tablet if you have one because it allows you to taper off at the end like this. I'm going to go ahead and save that one and add a new one and show you a few more examples. But I can get really thick. I can start really thick and get really thin. Obviously that looks strange until I get something that I'm happy with. And that kind of makes him look almost concerned. Here's the other one that I did. And I'm adding this little thing here for like the corner of the mouth. You can search your web for different expressions that the emojis have and how they do it. Kind of look to them. This look here would be pretty easy. You would just make that open shape with your brush tool, fill it, you can round that out with your brush tool. If you hold down shift it'll give you a straight line. You can also erase out with your eraser tool. Okay, and then you just paint in with your white, and I'll scoot back over to the website and see how they shaped that. Grab my brush tool, make it smaller. If I press and drag while holding down shift, it makes it straight. And then all I have to worry about is this curve here. Come again with the shift across the top. And then match the curves. There's that look. It's a little on the scary side. But for this particular face, all I want is this little kind of smirk that he's given. But whatever you choose to do, I would go ahead and add a new group and label it mouth and nose. Keep all those and put them in your folder.